Hey, from Dunmore, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. If you like doing less in Dunmore, it's a midday edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Hey, everybody. Driving around today. Driving around, driving around. Trying to think of something to say. Yes, my singing sucks. Yes, I know. What am I ranting about today? Well, I'm gonna rant about. What am I gonna rant about? I'm gonna rant about something. I'm gonna rant about clubs and bars. Specifically, gay clubs and bars. Now, I've, I've been to a couple. Why? Well, first of all, the drinks are cheaper. Gotta love how you go into a regular bar and, like, you know, during, like, um, happy hour, so-called happy hour, you know, it might be 2 or $3 for, you know, Budweiser, the Great American Piss Water, or, uh, Coors Light or something. I like, uh, I now like the, uh, Angry Orchard stuff. Well, stuff like that, forget it. If they even have it on tap, it costs a lot more. Otherwise, you gotta buy in bottles, and you're, you know, the place is not charge like five bucks a friggin' bottle, like shit like that. Also, food's usually more, I've noticed, as well. Totally different atmosphere and everything, as well. You, you go to, uh, some of the gay bars and clubs and you'll get I can get Angry Orchard two bucks draft anytime all night and not one of those little hills in a type of glass I mean, we're, like, we're talking like a nice decent sized freaking glass incredible the, the difference even what they charge for bottles of beer at least from what I've experienced, it's a lot cheaper than some of your regular bars and, and clubs. Or even, you know, cover charges and stuff like that. You, you go to some of these places and, you know, they're going to zap you with a $10 cover charge and shit. And meanwhile, you, you go on like a Saturday night um, to some of them, let's just say like the 12 penny down in music. And I think it's, is it $3, I think? It's like the cover charge. It might be 4 and that's only the cover charge if you're going into the, the dance club side. Bar itself does not have a cover charge. Where a lot of these other places charge your cover charge. The whole thing regardless. They all like eight bucks, ten bucks, shit like that. Which, I don't know. Anyway. Atmosphere is also different too. Um, I don't think as social and regular as some of the regular bars. But there is one thing I got to say that, that just has not changed no matter what type of club you go to. There are just people out there. That, have you ever noticed the people that mainly go out on the floor to dance are people that should not be dancing whatsoever. It's either like looking at a lead pencil trying to dance because like... <laughs> Or maybe like a head bopping thing. Like, it's funny. Like, you know, or sometimes it's like scenes from, if any of you are old enough to remember uh, Madonna's uh, Get Into the Groove. It's like, like, it's just bizarre watching some of these people dance that just should not be dancing whatsoever. And to, and to, to some songs that I know damn well that's not how you even attempt to dance to some of these songs. You know, I'm not saying I'm like the world's most phenomenal dancer, but good lord, I think my two-year-old granddaughter has better moves than some of these people that I have seen out on the dance floor. It's like, wow! <laughs> you look at some of the dancing and you're like, holy shit! <laughs> the hell are you doing? You type of thing. You know, but but you do have more theatrics in a, in a gay bar or club. Well, gay club type of thing. Dance club. A lot more theatrics. 
uh, they all be between uh, you know the the transgenders or you know some of the people dressed up this way it, it's interesting it's comical sometimes but then you get the ones you get like uh, Mr. GQ Studley <laughs> with, with the pants you know it, it, shaking his ass around there with his thong showing and it's like buddy what the fuck are you doing this is not Philadelphia like seriously this is the Scranton area like it, I didn't know this was the bump and grind club but it's comical because it's entertainment it really is entertainment and people that just don't know what to do have stopped look at that um <laughs> 